15 days over to Hawaii and back. But once back to San Francisco, there was some cleaning up to do. These pictures from Chopper 5 show the crews wiping down the ship's upper deck. But the battle against the norovirus began at sea. They were up very upfront about it. And one of the procedures was they stopped letting us get our own food in the buffet lines and they served us everything, even the packets for of Splenda that you use in your coffee. So I've seen them where they've cleaned out the library too of books. They have, you know, hand sanitizer and they just told you to wash your hands. The ship's crew pleaded with passengers to stay in their rooms if they started feeling sick. The Centers for Disease Control reports 135 of the ship's 2,500 passengers fell ill. It's the fifth time this year a ship docking in the United States has arrived with passengers who have suffered vomiting and diarrhea from norovirus. Because it's so common, it seems the cruise lines are getting the hang of dealing with it. Princess sent out this email to boarding passengers telling them to expect delays because the outbreak required a comprehensive cleanup and disinfection at the port here. It, it didn't make you say, I'm never going on a cruise again? Oh, no, no. We'll, we'll be on another one next year.